with all the um, issues within a Palestinian society, how can Palestinians change? Because both sides need to change for there to be any peace. <laughs> what, what can, well, I guess the next question is, what can an Israeli do to convince Palestinians that there's some way to coexist? Okay. I will answer for both questions sure. in some way. Uh, what they can do, they could do many years before, and they, they, I think still they can do till, till now. They can give better chances for people to live. Okay. I always have uh, an idea that economy can change anything. If you get better economy for people, definitely you will see you coexisting. That's true. That's, this is the only way to, 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 to do that. Otherwise, you will still see violence, always violence. Because people react to, to, to the Israeli military presence in violence. And this is, makes sense, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. When you see people, you are putting thousands on jail, demolishing houses, uh, collective punishment, uh, checkpoints, emulating many people. And I've been through that. Mm -hmm. The normal reaction is violence. So what they can do, they can give better rights to people and give like them give, chances. Give examples. Okay. Because the checkpoints are not probably not going to go away. Yeah, um, I, I think I think so. Checkpoints are not going. Away. But they can uh, give people a chance to to export import freely without uh, going through Israel. Mm -hmm. They can uh, give... Uh, um, what, yeah, uh, double taxation. This is a horrible thing. Oh, Israel taxes you yeah. guys? Yeah. For, okay, yeah. This is a very weird thing because okay. uh, when you want to, to start a business, the first obstacle you have is double taxation. You need okay. to pay here so, and there. Okay, Palestinians tax you and Israel taxes you. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you can give because you have the power. You you are uh, you need to take the responsibilities of being here mm -hmm. because we are not a country. You should give people like uh, chances to to get better education, to get better uh, civilized infrastructure. You have to give that. But that's okay, so but let's now talk mm -hmm. like reality. Mm -hmm. So. For example, let's say the, the reason things are checked when they come to the country is because people also import guns and bombs and things, you know, that's hard, that's the reason, right? Being taxed for that, I agree. That's obnoxious. <laughs> you know, this is our issue, even if these people are, there are militants who are doing this, this is our issue. Um, how, how can you, uh, or, or something like education, how, would that mean that Israel comes in and starts a university? with better Arabic-speaking professors? What does that mean? Oh, okay. This means that they can uh, they can allow the, what they call it, the experts from outside to give... Um, uh, even the curriculums here, uh, you need, the, I think, there's yeah, a security sure, check yeah. by, ah, by the by Israeli, Israeli government for that. Yeah? When they change it for a Palestinian box, they take a approval from Israel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and there's Otania. It's about Palestine and uh, yeah, Palestine yeah. history. They delete it. There are many things they, yeah. they deleted. Yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, they can actually allow to spend more on that, help on that. They can mm -hmm. give help on that because this is very ethical. I think even even uh, academic figures in Israel they think that this is very ethical thing to do. Absolutely, yeah. And I think if you spoke to even the average person who's thinking Palestinians are violent, whatever, they would still agree to most of these things. They'd say, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, the question is then, how do you do it? Because that sounds really nice, it mm -hmm. sounds great, but you can't, Israeli um, or Palestinians and Israelis can't even meet, technically, because they'll be called normalizers. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm sort of thinking far further ahead, but it makes it very difficult for, you know, anytime somebody wants to improve something, Mm -hmm. Even in the government. Of course, we have that. Sorry, I keep throwing things at you, but I'm sorry. But I know, I understand that. We have that problem with our own government. Yeah. Yeah, everybody knows that. Yeah. Our government is, is making business from that war. It is true. 
Yeah. And they are not always trying to help. I think this is also in, sometimes in Israel. The, the government is, is making good business with being in war. Well, the, I mean, the, the, the army has to survive, so yeah, it's in their interest. To, I mean, they, not that there's so much more war, but yes, not, that's not kind of there. Yeah. Yeah, there should be a conflict yeah. always, yeah. because uh, for war businessmen, this is a good business. Business is business always. Okay. And um, do they think, do they consider changing our, our life, I mean the, our government? I think they... They, many of them, yes, they won't, but they cannot, because they don't have enough sources, and they don't have enough chances. Sources? What do you mean by that? Uh, money sources, of course. Money. Oh, sources. money. Okay. Money sources, and they don't have chances, even, because they are bigger forces than them. They put pressure on them, they, they cannot do anything. And what do you mean by the forces you put on them? What are we talking about? Business, uh, war, war businessmen. Oh, people who want to profit, From or them. want extremism, or want, you know, religion, or want, etc., yeah, etc. Yeah. Et I'm giving different examples. Okay. But, okay, so that's sort of the government. -y. I mean, those are people who control. How can the average Israeli, who actually says, I really do want to live in peace with Palestinians, mm -hmm. how do they reach out to Palestinians? How do they make a difference? They need to, to lower, the, to higher their voices. Okay. They need to say it loud. Okay. To be honest and open as much as they can. The second step, teaching their children the same idea. The third step, trying to communicate with the same people from the other side. That's it. And, and uh, the uh, idea uh, will spread after all. Um, okay, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a long process. Yeah. Peace cannot be done. What, I always say that. What, what happened in 60 years? You cannot fix in two days. Yeah, of course. Not. You need at least thirty years <laughs> yeah. to to do that. You need a generation. You, yeah, you need a generation to, to forget. Yeah. And let's go. Yeah. And of course, this is a very important thing. Um, this the, the 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 army what they are following here from the government or whatever. Whatever I said before, putting people in jail and uh, invasions, uh, shell, shelling, 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 yeah, shelling, mm -hmm. shelling. Yeah. and. Mm -hmm. All these things, um, you'll find many people here, they have psychological issues yeah. and mental issues. Yeah. And you need a huge personal uh, effort to let this go. Yeah. And this is a really problem because some people here, they don't know that they have psychological issues, but they do. Yeah. I've been through that. I had that effort mm -hmm. to, to, to let go. I've been here in 2002. Okay, and, so uh, I have many bad, bad history. So as a person, yeah. So as a person who's been through it, and you're and you're different, um, you're probably one of the only people I know who's this critical, self-critical. Very yeah. rare in Palestinian society. What advice do you give other Palestinians? Okay, to be realistic. This okay. is the most important thing. You have to be realistic. There's there's cartoon and there's real life. You have to think in real life, because cartoon cannot apply in real life. Yeah. Uh, you have always to think freely. You have always to think differently. Don't let someone else to think beside you. You have to take your own ideas, to take your own steps. Do not let anyone to, to plant anything inside your brain, because this is what causing this miserable life now. That is. That's it. Do you, you need, to, uh, do you you need to, to learn yourself to accept the others, because l l you have to be realistic. The Jews are not going anywhere. They are not going back. Mm -hmm. Where? Where? Go back exactly. where? Exactly. Go back where? Go back where? Yeah. It's not there any anymore. Yeah. What, what, what they have been... There well, and before. everyone's so mixed. I mean, it's, yeah. we're talking generations now. Yeah, generations. So what do you do? They are not going like, anywhere. They are quarter staying. Quarter Morocco. Whatever quarter happened, quarter. whatever happened, they are staying. Yeah. Even if you had war and won, they will stay there. Because they are part of this now. And you have to be realistic, you have to learn yourself to accept others. That's it. Very good.